That's an Oreo chip, cool. Hi guys, Max Mahal on Android.com where we get hot on Android every day. Today I'm going to show you how to convert your Galaxy S5. Um, this is supported on the SMG900F. This is the T-Mobile version, also the Verizon version, um, also the Sprint version, SMG900WA, the Canadian version, and also the SMG900i. I'm just checking my website before, um, make sure your S5 model is supported. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, walk you through um, how to install this on any Galaxy S5 that's supported. And let me go ahead and show you about phone. I'm running the Android uh, 8.1.0. So you get the latest uh, Android Oreo. Ooh. Wait, that's an Oreo. That's an Oreo chip, cool. And you'll be able to get this um, cuttlefish. Hey, all right, <laughs> pretty cool. Um, everything working out of the box, very good ROM. Um, also a ton of customization. All right, you get pretty much standard um, Android 8.0. Um, you get a bunch of options when you click on, obviously, um, your icons. That's kind of cool. Um, in settings, you'll find fully uh, Oreoed out settings stock. Now, there is a bunch of customizations. This is actually a Resurrection Remix from the latest one. Um, you'll be able to customize all your status bars, carry label, all that good stuff. Um, quick pull down menus, slim recents. Um, change your LCD density if you want. All right, sound, call, screenshot options is kind of neat. You can even um, have it drag selection when you take a screenshot. So let's say I'm gonna take a screenshot. All right, I'm gonna be able to drag it um, however I want and take a screenshot. So there is a ton of things you can do on this ROM. Uh, with the lock screen, you can even customize your hardware buttons, uh, which is part of Resurrection Remix, and they put this together with Android 8.1.0. Uh, now, installation is really easy. Let me go ahead and walk you through. Go ahead and power off your phone. Now, you don't have to have a rooted phone. I'm gonna walk you through any Galaxy S5 that's supported, you'll be able to do this. Go ahead and put it into download mode, volume down, center home power. All right, hit the volume up, and we're gonna go ahead and install Twerp Recovery. Go ahead and connect a micro USB cable to your computer. All right, once connected, let's go to our computer. All right, next guys, you guys will need to download um, the Resurrection Remix for KLT, obviously. Um, Samsung USB drivers, if you don't have it, Odin 3, zip, go ahead and extract all, and you get a folder with Odin 3, blah, blah. Um, go in there and double click on Odin3.exe, and you should see a blue highlighted sign. If you don't see this box with blue highlighted com, random com number, the com number doesn't matter. Um, go ahead and run the Samsung USB driver, unplug your USB, plug it back in, you will see this, all right? And also go ahead, uh, obviously you'll need to download um, Twerp Recovery, all right? You'll need this file, this file, this file, uh, and also the G apps. You'll need total of one, two, three, four, five files. I'll have links on my site, so check it out. All right, um, next we're gonna go ahead and choose AP. Go ahead and choose the Twerp um, KLT IMG.tar, hit open. All right, as soon as this, this um, flashes, we're gonna hold down volume up, center home, and the power key, all right? Let me go ahead and show you. So as soon as this flashes, done. Give it a second. All right, give it a second. After it starts rebooting, you're gonna hold down volume up, center home, and power. And that's it, you'll see recovery booting. If you miss this, just pull the battery out, put it back in, repeat it until you get it. All right, um, if it asks you for unlock, sometimes it'll ask you well, whether you wanna keep it read only, make sure you choose read only. And let's go back to our phone. Sorry, let's go back to our computer. You're gonna go ahead and copy over uh, RR, uh, this, the actual ROM file and the G apps, go ahead and copy. If you want full root, also copy over Majisk, download and copy over Majisk. And you're gonna go ahead and copy over into anywhere in the internal storage here, simply paste. All right, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, yeah, this will obviously erase everything on your phone um, because this is a custom ROM. Um, sorry, I forgot to tell you that in the beginning. 
tight, but um, if you haven't installed the ROM yet, you can always just reboot and um, back up everything and reboot into Twerp using the keys. All right, that's pretty much it. We're gonna go ahead and turn our phone into full Oreo. And next step, we're simply gonna go, um, go ahead and turn it back on. Uh, I'm go to wipe and do a swipe to factory reset. I'm not gonna do it because I just installed this. I don't wanna erase everything, but that will erase everything on your phone. Uh, except for contents, it's not gonna erase your personal files or anything in your stores. It's just gonna erase all your apps, reset everything otherwise. Um, go to home, go to install and choose um, RR, the file you copied over, the ROM file, swipe. And this will flash the ROM. All right, you also need to install G apps, which gives you um, Google Play Store. That way you can install apps. Um, but yeah, this ROM has been very awesome. I mean, Galaxy S5 is still an awesome phone, I think. Um, if you wanna grab like an older Galaxy S5, I, I think you can grab this for like 50 bucks. It's a great phone. You put the latest Oreo like this and you know, you got it performing pretty good. Also performance on Antutu, I get pretty good um, speeds around 67,000. So very good performance, battery life excellent. Also this phone has very good battery life. Also it's actually one of the first phones to come out with a USB 3.0. Um, port there, which is really nice. So really like this phone still. Um, go back, hit home. You're gonna go ahead and install. Install the AG apps. Confirm flash. All right, and reboot system. Choose do not install. And you should be on the fully on uh, Android 8.1 Oreo. Again, this method will work on any S5 model that support it. All right, any S5 Qualcomm. Um, just look at the model numbers listed before you try it. Again, just make a backup of everything before you do it, just in case something goes wrong. But this won't erase anything uh, on your, you know, your personal files and stuff. Like I said. Um, yeah, but uh, my God, um, my God, I'm starting to install a bunch of different ROMs on, you know, my other phones, my older phones. I'm trying to repurpose it for something like security camera or live view all over my house, which I'll have a video of soon. Um, you know, it's kind of fun <laughs> making all these old phones run like new. All right, and reboot it, and you should be in the welcome menu. Um, since I do do a factory reset, um, I'm just at this, but very highly recommended. Very good ROM. Try it out. Um, if you have an old, you know, maybe you want to give a like a phone to your kids or something, but you, know, you don't want to spend a lot of money. Grab this, get a used one for maybe like 50 bucks, maybe even cheaper. Load up Oreo and boom, we got the latest software supporting a lot of stuff. Um, camera also works flawless. By the way, I forgot to tell you. Um, camera also 4K recording does work. Um, so video works really fine, real fine. Um, you can see you still get 4K. So everything pretty much working out of the box. Very good, solid build, highly recommend it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But have a great day, and as always, stay on Oreo. Hi, click here to subscribe. Click here to subscribe.